What is up everyone, welcome back to Mainly Movies, the channel where we talk about, well, Mainly Movies. So today I'm going to be reviewing Jojo Rabbit. Jojo Rabbit is directed by Taika Waititi and stars Roman Griffin Davis, Scarlett Johansson and Taika Waititi as Adolf Hitler. This story follows a young boy named Jojo who lives and breathes everything that the Nazis do. When he finds out that his mother is hiding a young Jewish girl, he begins to rethink his faith in the Nazis. Zim blowing stuff up. I don't think I can do this. Russ? Of course you can. comes to. So Jojo Rabbit was a movie that I didn't really know much about. I knew it was sort of like a satirical comedy on World War II and the Nazi Germany. And I thought that was a pretty cool premise, although I didn't really know what the actual plot was. I watched it and I was really, really surprised with this movie. It is a really, really great film. I highly recommend watching the film. I'm already recommending the film. It's that good. The main kid who was playing Jojo, Roman Griffin Davis, was really good. He really sold this movie. He was funny in the scenes. He was really good at the emotional stuff as well. And believe me, although this movie is a comedy, there is a lot of emotional stuff and the actors really held the movie in terms of its emotional scenes because there is a lot of it and I was actually really surprised and shocked by uh, how invested and emotionally invested I was in this film. But also the comedy's really there and the comedy hits really hard. It's funny, there's some really dark sense of humour. Most of the jokes come from uh, Taika Waititi playing Adolf Hitler because he's so kind of charismatic and he's very... I don't know, he seems like a, he seems like a good guy. He's, the way he says everything, he seems like a, a good guy. But it's just what he's saying isn't good. It's very bad and something that a, a kid shouldn't be hearing. And I thought that was very, very funny. Jojo's friend Yoki in this film was hilarious. There was one scene in particular near the end, which I won't spoil, where um, something kind of big happens and it kind of gets caused because of that kid. It is hilarious. He was really funny, that kid. Um, Taika Waititi is good at doing, like, he, he knows how to, like, direct kids, um, which is why I like his movies, why he's, you know, directing kids. and it, Because they, it kind of, you'd think, okay, this, these are, like, movies for kids, like Hunt for the Wilder People or Boy, but they're not. They have a, a lot of adult humour and, yeah, just the humour in the movies is kind of crude and um, a bit off the rails and that's why I really like it. Also his shot composition in his movies are really good. Some of them feel like paintings which is something that I really like about his movies. He has these very still shots. There's one shot in particular where um, Jojo is talking to his mom, played by Scarlett Johansson, um, sitting by these rock stairs and it's kind of on like a vertical angle. It looks really good. Um, he is just really good behind the camera as well as on camera. And another thing is his directing. His directing in this movie shows and it shows to be very great. It's He is a very good comedy director and he's good at directing movies, big budget movies like Thor Ragnarok. If I have to go with a negative, I would uh, probably say that uh, I kind of wish there was a bit more of the boot camp stuff because it kind of gets skimmed over and a lot of the German stuff at the start kind of gets skimmed over a little bit and Sam Rockwell's character in this film, uh, his character in a way, I sort of cared about his character but he, at the same time he didn't, he still kind of plays the same character that he does in Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri where he plays like kind of like a drunk asshole. But I still felt for his character in a way, but I felt like I could have felt a bit more emo uh, like emotionally invested into his character if the start wasn't kind of rushing the, uh, the boot camp scenes a little bit. So yeah, but he was still pretty funny in this movie and I mean everyone was funny. Rebel Wilson was, was really funny. Scarlett Johansson even has a few very funny scenes. But overall I really really liked Jojo Rabbit. It is a really good film. It's a it's a movie that I I know it came out technically it came out 2019, but I saw it today uh, here in Australia. It's the 1st of January, so yeah. So yeah, uh, most of the movies I'm going to review this week and next week and maybe a few weeks are movies that would have came out in 
uh, America or in other countries in 2019. So for the first couple of weeks, I'll be reviewing movies that had come out in 2019 over there so I can kind of catch up because it's all about when I get to see them and also when Australia decides to release those movies because I don't really know what is going on with their release dates because it's kind of a bit all over the place. Like The Lighthouse for Australia doesn't come out until February which kind of sucks. Same with Uncut Gems doesn't come out until the end of this month. But anyway, I highly recommend Jojo Rabbit if you haven't seen it yet definitely go see it. It's definitely worth a watch. It's really funny and it's got a lot of emotion to it and it's just a fun time and I really really enjoyed myself watching this film. Which is why I'm going to give Jojo Rabbit a 9.5 out of 10. I really really did enjoy this film. Uh, it was really really funny and it was exactly what I kind of wanted to watch and I thought it was directed very well. The shots and the scenery of this film were really good. And the set design, that's another thing that kind of gets a bit overlooked in this film. Set design and clothing design was really good and I uh, overall just really liked the film. So yeah guys, um, Happy New Year's to you all. Uh, I hope you have a good one and a safe one. So guys, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe and I hope to see you guys in the next video. So stay tuned, I'll see you guys next year. And have a safe New Year's. Bye.